All right, guys, Kettleboy32 here, man. It's been a rough day at the range. Not all good days, or not all range days are good days, and today's no exception. But uh, what I'm going to do, this is the follow-up, just what I just did on the, on the white marker board, was how to zero in the rifle. Now, as we were talking about MOA at 100 yards, and that's where we are, 100 yards. One MOA is one inch. Now, that scope that we're using, it's just a good old standby scope, one click equals one quarter MOA, which is a quarter of an inch. So what we're going to do... I'm going to aim center point to here. Now, the idea is to come down here after we get done. We're going to measure over. That'll give us the number of clicks down or whatever it's going to be. Now, I put it on paper earlier. I don't know how close it's going to be, but we'll figure it out from there. So let's get on back up there to the rifle. We've got a school group out here. They're doing some shooting, so it's a lot of fun. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you about what we're using today. This is... Uh, one of my neat uppers is a 14 and a half inch Yankee Hill fluted barrel, uh, one and seven twist. And uh, in order to really take advantage of that one and seven twist, we're going to go ahead and do this test with some Black Hill 77 green. Now it's wind, windy today. You can probably tell on the microphone there. And I forgot my damn mic. So here we go. We're going to go ahead, put it on target, see what we can do got this thing dialed in and again this is the scope that we just used this is one quarter MOA per click so the nice thing about having this is a 12 power scope just one of those UTG deals um, is you can actually see the impacts from where we are so I can make the adjustments up here so what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you where we are I've got a camera on it so you can see the adjustments as we go all right here we go That's a shot. It's a dollar, I think. Half dollar around. All right, so here we go. We're going to bend this thing. Uh, got about a two and a half pound two stage trigger on this lower. Yeah. No, as you can go. Here we go. Yeah, he hit the It was just at the very bottom. All right, so. Too close. <laughs> yeah. That's better. All right. So what I might do, because it is too close, I'm not really happy with that. But and on average, I'm about. I'd say two inches to the left. So we want to go eight clicks to the right. All right. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if I were to center up group, I'm, uh, let's say I'm an inch high. One, two, four. All right, here we go on target. I felt the pull on that one. All right, so let's come back to the left. Two quick. One, two. And that should put us right on the mark. It's a lot of fun. If you know, like you said, if you know the click, how your your uh, scope is dialed in, it's real easy to put it on. I mean, I started off with this thing shooting it in the dirt, and I was probably five feet off. I just put it on there, took it to the 50, brought it in on paper, and I'll show you, for instance, all right, let's just go ahead and do this. I don't know what I did there. But I'll put two rounds aiming center point, and we'll bring it back. Yeah. 
All right. So you see where I'm at there? I am, well, compared to the quarter inch hole, okay? I am probably one, two, three, four, five, six. I want to say about eight inches to the left. So I want to come eight inches right. I'm going to keep center point the same as where it was. So we're going to go eight inches to the 24. Actually, 32 clicks. All right. So that should bring us directly underneath. Close enough. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the black hills, and I'm going to use that last hole as my aiming point just to get us a clear one. Okay. Three rounds. We're going to be aiming at that center point, last hole that I just put in there, and that's going to be our new point of aim. And what this does, hopefully, will, it will work about three or four inches below. Alright, perfect. Alright, so. What we need to do is we need to bring it up a good guesstimate from here. I'm going to say five inches. Now, if I had my grid lines on there, I could do it right. Now, five times four is 20. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty. 20. And again, the reason we do that is four clicks equals one inch. And just to see. I'm going to come left, one, one, three, four, there we go, three rounds, let's see how close we can get them. Let that wind die down. Yeah. But anyway, you get the gist. That's it. That's it. You know, that's a pretty easy way to zero the rifles. You know your clicks, know what your MOA is. Now, again, some rifles use the mill series system 3.6 inches per mill, 10 clicks per mill on this particular scope. Again, this video is not for the snipers. This is for the guys who need help and just going out there. Again, we see guys out here at the range will go through boxes after box of ammo, and they have no idea what they're doing. But this is for those guys to help you guys out. Let's go to Boy 32. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. Go to Boy 32. Out.